We found evidence of a uh, previous repair uh, not been done as well as it should have. You could hear a, uh, a delamination in here. Welcome back to our video series on a sailplane refinish and 3,000 hour major inspection. I'm Sean with Wings and Wheels. Our first video featured removing mylar, tape, and control surfaces from the special LS3A. Danny Schaefer from Schaefer Aviation starts in this video by removing old gel coat with 80 grit sandpaper. Let's listen in as they grind away and discover unexpected damage needing repair. We keep the weight as low as possible by keeping the shape as close to factory as we can. We found a delaminated area that was in need of repair. We didn't take a video of the scarfing process, but what we did was we removed all three layers of the outer skin all the way down to the foam core, as you can see in the pictures. We plan to do a reverse layup to make sure we add the same amount of each layer that we took out. Take care of our plastic and we can trace our patterns. This is three layers of 92110. We can bi-directional throw strip weave. And it has already been scarfed out to the proper scarf distance. We draw patterns. I always like to label them so you know what's what. We draw on the bias for 45 degrees. The second layer will be a little bit smaller. And we'll lay it up on top so we don't have a large bump and we can have a smooth repair at the end. The third layer will be the smallest. Now we'll head on over to the cutting table and cut some glass to fit our pattern. Okay, over at the cutting table, we have a roll of 92110. We come through and start cutting our glass. We'll cut these a little oversized so that once we apply the resin, we can cut it perfectly to our pattern and have a nice clean edge for our repair. And these have to be on the bias, so that's why I'm cutting them at this angle because the, the um, threads of the glass go. And also, we'll cut a piece of peel ply. And the peel ply is a layer that goes on at the end that absorbs excess resin and leaves a, a good texture for us so that we wouldn't have to sand it before we um, apply a filler or a primer on top of it. Now, those are our three pieces of glass cut as well as our peel ply. So now we are ready to head back over to the flat and prep the surface for laying up and mix our resin. Over at our mixing table, we can go ahead and start mixing our resin using the MGF series of resin. We mix it by weight, 40% to one by weight with a little chart over here, so I don't have to do all that much. Now we will add our hardener using the fast hardener Temperatures have been so cold lately. You'll see when we get back to the flat that there is that we did yesterday. I can't sand because I haven't had much time to go off. And in the cold, it's about the regular 30s 
approximate, so it takes us uh, well over 24 hours to cure at that temperature. Make sure we mix it really well. We are also going to use a small portion of this, and we're going to mix it with some micro balloons. We're going to put that on the um, the glue joint between the the foam and fiberglass on the balloon. It's not perfectly flat, and we can use the micro balloons to fill up any gaps so there won't be any voids or air bubbles in our final layup. It's all mixed. We split it. Take our micro balloons. Start mixing those in. Micro balloons always take a little while to combine. And it increases the volume by quite a bit. It doesn't thicken the resin up too much. There we go. Now we're ready to head back to the flap and proceed with our layup. Here you see Eric wetting out the foam core and surrounding glass with resin. We want to make sure that the foam is very saturated to ensure a good bond between the foam and the skin. You'll see him go around the edge with a layer of micro balloons. Now this area is ready for our first layer. You'll notice how Eric is dabbing the resin into place rather than brushing. This is to make sure that we don't distort the fibers. We can really see that our cloth is wetted out with the use of this four mil plastic. It also helps us transfer the layer to the part that we're repairing. All right, here is our first layer, our biggest layer. So this layer is going to replace the topmost layer of fiberglass and the last layer is going to replace the innermost. The concept of a reverse layup makes a lot more sense when you're using uh, many different types of cloths or you know maybe fiberglass, carbon or Kevlar. Um, all in a specific order. In this case, it's all 92-110 and it's all going the same direction. So it doesn't really make a difference here uh, aside from the shape. Okay, our third and final layer is on. We're going to go through and make sure that all the air bubbles are worked out. Then we're going to apply our peel ply. This is going to help make a, a nice resin transition between the layers and between our existing glass. And it is also going to keep dust from getting into our repair. All right, there we have it. We'll let that cure for about 24 hours.